Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here at Navarra Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. It is day 81 and the fourth as a dragoon for EDSS here in the Realm Reborn. And yesterday we started to take on the first of four different sets of challenges that allow us to be able to kind of help out the enemy, as it were. We now have gained access to a series of challenges, first of all through the kobolds in Outer Lanosea, that allows us to help out with any situations that they may have with their superiors. Because yeah, it turns out there's a bit of a rivalry going on in the kobolds, and they're not the only evil beast tribe race that has this problem. There are more similar situations, which brings us here to Costa del Sol, which unfortunately is overcast today. However, we're going to make our way north by using my chocobo and make our way north along the coast to take on the second of these challenges. This one will involve the Sahagin. We haven't really had much to deal with in terms of the Sahagin in this game, but in this particular instance, we are going to have to put up with them. So, running alongside the beautiful waters of Costa del Sol to get to the destination that we need to go to, and here's Private Wolfalk of the Maelstrom. So let's go ahead and talk to him. It looks like he was consoling someone. Well, we know why we're here, because yeah, we found out that a ship has been sunk. You're the one Commander Riki said to expect then. I'm Wolfolk, a private in the Commander's foreign levy. As you can see, there ain't much more for me to coordinate. The fishbox made a good mess of that ship. Barely a handful of the boat buggers what were sailing on it made sure alive. Where am I? Where is Robin? Where is my son? Yeah, this poor lady. Now if you'll just calm yourself down, good wife, we'll have your boy back in your arms or you can spit up another lungful of seawater. <laughs> Which is rather gross. The tide's been merciful to a fortunate few like the good wife here and carry them all the way to the beach. Here, you'll be needing some of my medical supplies for the bleeding and injured. Take a walk along the coast now, and help them as ain't beyond helping. So let's go ahead and do what has to be done. We have to help two injured survivors and two wounded survivors. Ugh, waves slammed me into the rocks. They cut me up some, I think. Is it bad? Well, not if I give you this. Oh my thanks. I feel much stronger now. All I remember is an impact like bloody thunder in the deck lurching beneath my feet. Then they came aboard. Yeah, we'll find out more about that soon. And now we have the two wounded survivors. I can barely breathe. Well, let's see if we can offer him some first aid. Uh, thank you, thank you. Which of the seven heavens is this? Bloodshore? Oh. Yeah, you're not dead yet, you're still alive. Yeah, and so are you, little Lalafell. Let's help you out. I, I made it? Well, one moment we were still in alone, happy as they please. The next I was struggling to keep me head above the waves. And finally one more injured survivor. Ah, oh, my shoulder! It burns! Don't take me on, I'm begging you. Well, I won't need to. Just take this potion and you'll be fine. Ah, I can feel my fingers again. Those gutless fish box! They were over the rail and swing the fork like I'd stammer out a prayer to the navigator. And so now that we've dealt with these people, let's speak with Wolfhawk again. And see what assistance, any further assistance we might be able to provide. So as we go to a cutscene. You've seen some lives this day, lad. Tis a terrible thing will happen, but you could take but you take what solace you can in the little victories. Not that any amount of solace will have me for giving those blasted fish box. You expect attacks on the navy, that's what we signed up for. But sinking a civilian ship with women and children aboard. The Sahagin of Ice Blood for blood, I tell you. No, not my little Robin! Me condolences, good wife. I know how hard this must. And then, as he looks out, Leviathan's scaly arse! 
Yeah, if you can believe it. We're under attack. The Sahagen approach. Yeah. Sahagen? Yeah! Yeah, they're coming up on shore. And letting everyone know it. <laughs> what? You didn't get your fill of the slaughter out on the straight? If you want to finish the job you started, then you best start with me. Yeah, all they can do is just go fshh. Because they're getting the water out of their mouths. And then... Mom! Yeah, if you can believe it. Robin? My darling Robin! Yeah. Mom, there you are! Yes, I, I was on the lifeboat. <laughs> oh my dear Robin, you're safe! Thank the Twelve above! Yeah, the saw again rescued this little boy in the lifeboat. Yeah, it's certainly strange. They just acknowledge, turn, and tell everyone that we can head on back out to sea. Yeah. The Sahagen playing Good Samaritan and saving a child's life? What's going on here? The lad's alive? What manner of fishback trickery is this? It's certainly confusing to say the least. And so, having been confused by an unexpected act of Good Samaritanism, now I'm getting my Stephen Colbert on. Let's speak with... Well, we're gonna have to speak with Robin and Wolfalk. Well, now it's just Robin. I'm fine if a bit wet. I thought I would sink to the bottom of the sea. But then some nice fishermen came and saved me. They were not like the scary ones that came after our ship. But the stories they say are all fishermen are nasty. Isn't that odd? Um, might I ask you a favor? I found this necklace at the bottom of the little boat the nice fishermen used to carry me to the shore. I'm certain it must be one of theirs. I took it back to them myself, but I don't think my mom would like that. Could you maybe return it for me? The last I saw they were swimming towards Western Lanosea. That must be where they live. I wonder if their houses are made of seaweed. <laughs> yeah, so now... We are required to go to Western Lanosea, specifically Air Aleport, because that's the closest location to where we need to be going. So as we leave Private Wolf Falk and his dumbfoundedness and his shock. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, the enemy saved someone's life. And it wasn't one of their own. So as heads turn, spin, and pretty much do everything else that involves 360 degrees of rotation, let's now make our way back to Western Lanosea, back to Aleport, and let's scan on my chocobo and ride. And we're going to go into some uncharted territory in this particular run, because, yeah, unlike other times before, we are not going to a place that we've crossed paths with already. This place is going to be entirely new and foreign for our particular journey. So we don't want to go into the fortress here, we want to go around the fortress. There are two different passages you can take around the fortress. They all lead the same way. So it's more or less just run around the fortress, do what you need to do, and then meet up at the convergence point. So we're gonna make our run through here. Yeah, here's the first significant line of defense, as it were. This separates us from them, and as you can see, check this out. This is the craziest collection of coral you will and shells you will ever see in your life. They made some insane art for this game. There is no question about that. And it is here where we come to speak to a Sahagen Spawnling. Okay, yeah, the pursuit's been broken off. So yeah, let's speak with this guy. What is the meaning of this trespass? 
I should skewer you where you stand, finish one. But I have this to give to you. Psh, you carry the necklace of child fa clutch for the north? How is it that you possess this cherished treasure? You come at the behest of a child he saved? Such unusual manners for a shore worker. Psh, you may pass. Seek out Clutch Father North and be sure to keep your tone respectful. He is the elder of our clan. And it looks like I'm not the only one who has business with him. It turns out a few other people have some business with him too. <clears throat> so let's go to Clutch Father Nav, the leader of the Sahagen, and give him a talking to. Rare is it to see a shore walker in our midst. I am Nav, clutch father to this clan of spawnlings. Ah, the finless child bid you return my necklace, did he? Psh, no, I had no special reason for saving the boy. Only that for the Shahagin, as it is for you shore walkers, offspring are considered the most precious of treasures. Oh, that's... Th that's very profound to hear you say that. All that reside here are bound by ties of blood. All are the children of the Clutch Father. That must be a lot of eggs you're spitting now between your legs. Only slightly less precious to me than my spawn is the trinket that you bring. It was a gift, a commendation from our beloved matriarch. I thank you for returning it to me. We have a saying. The favor of one is repaid by the gratitude of the clutch. Psh, I welcome you to our home. Perhaps a modest banquet is in order. I do not know, however, if our spread will agree with your Shorewalker stomach. <laughs> so, yeah, he wants to offer me something to eat. However, I, as he buys his own mission instead, it might not necessarily be something I can take. Nonetheless, we'll take on his level 44 challenge entitled Clutch and Kin. Clutch Father Nav needs your help to rein in one of, the, one of his spawnlings. So let's see who he needs us to assist with. Psh, you witnessed the aftermath of the attack in the Strait of Melthor? Yes, it was indeed perpetrated by Shahagen. The individuals responsible are called the Coral Tridents. They reside in the shops of spawning grounds and are known among our people as a volatile and fanatical faction. We had hoped to prevent them from ever reaching that vessel, but alas, the current was not in our favor. Foolishness, their actions only invite further violence through retaliation. And what of Nav and his clutch, you ask? We live apart from the spawning grounds and pursue a separate agenda. I do not claim to understand the structure of your civilization, but for us Shahagin, each clan of clutchmates is led by a single clutch father. The Indigo Matriarch, what you might call a queen, bestows each clutch of her eggs upon only the bravest and most seasoned warriors. It is then a clutch father's duty to raise and instruct his charges in the way of our people. Psh, but for this cycle to continue, the matriarch must have a secure environment in which to bear her offspring. That is why we chose to make this land our home. It is unfortunate then that the Shasha spawning ground have become the locus of such conflict. If only more Shorewalkers were like you and spent a moment to understand our situation. Clutch Father, I need a council! Psh, what have I taught you, Sorrow? Asha again does not flail and splash about so. He rolls with the waves and rides the currents. Forgive me, Clutch Father. I, psh, it is pure, her sixth youngest brother. What of him? He has left the nursery without permission. He spoke of talking sense into the color trident. His brain is as soft as his spawning scales, 
and this at a time when I cannot afford me to take my eyes off of the rest of the clutch. But though our stands towards each other is not yet clear, Shorwaka, I would ask a boon of you. Shave my foolish son. Sue here will have more to say on the subject, I'm sure. You got it there, Clutch Father. I'll do what I can to help you out. So the quest is accepted. Now let's speak with So, or Sue, or however it's supposed to be pronounced. You have no stairs, and yet the Clutch Father seems to trust you. I shall do the same. As you just heard, my brother Pew has taken upon himself to educate the Cola Trident. He is one of our more impetuous spawn brothers and yet young. He does not realize the peril he puts himself in. The Trident will not listen to Pew's reasoning. They will laugh as they impale him with their spears. Please bring Pew back safely to the nursery. By now he must be some distance across the land base. Closer to North Tide Gate. So, yeah, specifically Pew would be right over here, and once you know it, there is a fate going on there. So, it may actually be a difficult situation for me to even get this challenge taken on at all. Because, yeah, I have run into situations before where I've done these challenges, and they're the spot where the challenge is supposed to take place is right where fate's going on at the exact same time. And you know what, while I am here, if I can offer my services, I will do so. So yeah, let's go ahead and put a spear through... Oh, well let's, let's put a spear through you first because you are targeting me. Yeah, since you are targeting me, I therefore must target you. And therefore must cause pain upon you. Oh, crap. Yeah, reinforcements are coming and yeah, they're gonna really t give me trouble unless the boss can be defeated. Because, yeah, the Maelstrom attire is not my strongest. It's not the strongest outfit I have. Yeah, and they just keep on coming. Okay, this one's gonna pass me by, which is fine by me. Now over here. Now over here, and let's see if we can't make a good move here to help out these guys. This thing is almost dead. Let's go ahead and make this go a little bit faster. Yeah, let's do, use the disembowel. <clears throat> and then once we've taken care of that, then soon this fate will be completed. And there it is. Whoa, we got 7,000 experience on 152 seals. And uh, something unexpected, which was an item of s particular and just then it seems I'm, I'm still under attack, so therefore I must continue to attack. Let's get rid of this Shelf Plus Saw again and eliminate him. Let's make him bleed a little. And was that Chocobo carrying a whole bunch of gifts on its back? Yeah, it is! <laughs> it's a reindeer Chocobo! What the hell? <laughs> That must have been a reward for a challenge done at Christmas time. Hey, that was crazy. Yeah, and then there's this challenge that's going on, and uh, I'm being targeted. Yeah, I don't think that it is in my best interest to stay here for a moment longer. I need to run through the field, as it were. Yeah, because it doesn't look like there's much in terms of assistance. Or maybe there is. Okay, well, let's quickly change into my proper battle gear and start picking a fight. Like, am I, yeah, am I actually attacking you or am I just standing here? Am I just standing here being an innocent bystander? Yeah, because anything we can do to get this out of the way and move life along for myself, I will take it. Because we need to get this fate out of the way so that I can engage in my own pursuits. Hey, you want to come back here and so I can... Okay, apparently he doesn't. And apparently these things are more interested in running. 
Alright, your turn now. It's your turn to suffer at my hands, my tridents, and everything else I have to offer. Well, actually, I don't have a trident yet. That, but that is the next we weapon available at level 46. And... Boom, you're gone. But man, oh man, they just keep on coming. They just keep on coming and they don't stop and I want to attack what's in front of me. I want to attack what's in front of me, please. And I would like to ensure that I am alive while this is going on. Oh. And that would be a special ability. Alright, who else wants it? Come get some! Away we go! Right into your body. Come on, attack the stupid Saha again. That is what we must kill in order to complete this challenge. We're not done yet. One more wave has to come through. Oh, and it's in the form of boss. Ooh. Oh, I have to be honest, I was not expecting this. Yeah, I don't believe we're gonna kill this guy in 90 seconds. We can try, but I don't think we can do it. So, well, let's give it a try. But yeah, that's a lot that's a lot of HP to burn through in 90 seconds. I think we are racing against time here, and yeah, we definitely are. Let's put back on the philobotomize, as well as my special abilities. Did I stun him? Yeah, I did stun him. Not like it matters, because, yeah, we still have all this HP to burn through. We still have all this HP to burn through, and we simply do not have the time. Like, if we were surrounded by a whole bunch of people, then maybe, yes, we could pull it off. But as it stands right now, it's just not going to go down that way. Yeah, because there's 20 seconds to go, and it took us 70 seconds just to get him close to half dead. Pretty much tells you everything you need to know about how this result is going to end. We'll push it as far as we can, but obviously we're not going to succeed. We're out of time. But we do get credit for the involvement in the quest that we did, were able to be involved in. Alright, so as they get driven off, let's get back to what we were supposed to be doing. Okay, yeah, here's our particular person of interest. Um, I don't have many Geistal Greens left, but I should make use of them. Alright, here we go. Chocobo out in the fray. Let's go ahead and breach the perimeter. This concerns you not, Shurwaka. Away with you, Finnish one. Yep, and now the attack is on. Three on one onslaught. And now they're set off and away we go. Alright, one dead. Oh! Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, do not hit me with your special ability, please. That would be very so painful. Alright, one more to go. Let's take you out and save little Pew. Alright, we did it. Alright, Pew. Let's give you a hand. And so let's see how you react. Rescued by a short worker? What am I to cl tell Clutch for the Nerve? Hmm? Spawn Brother Shu sent you to come to my aid? Psh, I do not understand these coral trident warriors. I scarce opened my mouth before they proceeded to beat me bloody. But Clutch Father always says that, courage, that the currents of discussion carry us to enlightenment. But it seems the words of a small count for little than less. I simply wanted to put into practice what my clutchmates and I had been taught. Now I surely face a punishment in addition to my beating. Yeah, so there he goes with his tail between his legs, unfortunately. 
So, let's go ahead and summon my chocobo. Yeah, a hard experience for the young man. And a hard lesson to be taught, too. Oh, and the Sharknado challenge is available again. <laughs> hey, hey! Let me run through, thank you. I will thank you for allowing me to get through back over to where it is I need to be, which is a reuniting and a meeting with Clutch Father Nov. Alright, back over here. It looks like the Clutch Father has quite an audience on his hands. So let's see if we can't make our way through and speak to him. Welcome back, Shore Walker. You are in kind to endanger yourself, though you would know us no such loyalty. Pure will be appropriately disciplined for his reckless actions. Now, more than ever, the Shahagin must act with caution and wisdom. Many of our people reside peacefully within our city in the Indigo Deep, but our civilization faces a steady and treacherous decline. We must venture onto land to secure spawning grounds to lay our eggs, and build nurseries to raise our young. It is an essential element of our breeding cycle, an instinct too powerful to ignore. Our traditional spawning grounds were, however, annihilated in the calamity. Thus, we were forced to seize this new location, the region the Finnish ones call Western Lanosea. It is not surprising that the Shorewalkers view our sudden aggressive expansion as not more than an invasion, but this seemingly unprovoked attack on their territory is in truth a desperate struggle for survival. Without this land, without a place to rear offspring, the Tsarhagen race is doomed. We are in no position to wage war against our Shorewalkers. We must attempt a parley and learn to exist side by side. The coral tridents of you who have now doubt realized do not comprehend the merits of a diplomatic approach. They seek only to control the weak of mind, like those brutal serpent reavers, and slaughter all others who oppose them. Psh, do not mistake me as a traitor to my kind. I hold no love for finless ones. I shed no shanty tears when the great Leviathan is summoned and the Lord of the Hall gathers new drowned shorewalkers to his fold. But conflict with your peoples is not the answer to our wars. We must look beyond the present and ensure calmer waters, waters in which the future of our race can thrive. Shorewalker, your arrival is a precious gift. I would have you become the first stone in the bridge I hope to build between our peoples and the rock which blunts the mindless spears of the colored tridents. I pray you, lend us your aid. This I can do. I swear myself to your noble cause. <laughs> your presence is most welcome, Shorewalker. My warriors are eager but lack the experience to engage such vicious opponents as the Coral Tridents. We will halt the zealots' advance at the shoreline and begin to repair the damage they have done to our chance of peace. There is much work ahead, but together we can put an end to this meaningless bloodshed. And so, with that conversation completed, that challenge is now finished. And so, that is two down, and two to go. We now have access to the Sahagen and Nov's Clutch. So, we can now get um, anything we need to from the Sahagen as well, as well as taking on any of the challenges they may have. So, with the two in Lanosea gone, as far as the Beast Tribes are concerned, there's still two more left to be dealt with. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. And when I join you again, we will go over to Ulda and to Thanalin, where we will take on our next challenge with the Amalja. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.